Today's adventure is paradise in Georgia, mixed in with a little drama. Day 32, we've made it four flights and we're exhausted. Welcome to the outdoor kitchen with Kevin. And this site comes complete with vagabond animals. Hey friends, I'm Stacy, and we are in Georgia at a state park at Cloudland Canyon. And we are about to spend the weekend here and do some hiking and have a A long time ago, we have two sites because Taylor and Eric and Kenzie are, all, are here as well. And so when we booked the site, it because it was so long ago, and now they are in the middle of doing some remodeling and really revamping and, and renovating their sites and their, their bathroom, it was not a handicap site. But now it is a handicap site when we got here. So these are really nice handicap sites as well. So Kev, show us the site. Okay. So one cool thing is it's got the, uh, uh, the, the blocks of wood all around it to keep everything from running down in. Super wide. So if, you, if somebody's parking here, especially if they're handicapped site, you know, if they need to, if they have a wheelchair or something like that, gives them plenty of room to get around. Then when you get out here, you can actually access everything you need. So everything seems to be easily accessible with a wheelchair. So your electric and your water and your sewer. And this site comes complete with vagabond animals. So you've got the grill that's actually accessible for a wheelchair at the end of the table as well. And here's the cool thing too. You've got your uh, uh, lantern for up here, but you also have a hook down low that you could reach from a wheelchair as well. So very well thought out site. They did a great job. Plenty of room, lots of, uh, um, Lots of space. So this is the first site. Now let's go over and Taylor, t Taylor and Eric site. Theirs is not full hookup and probably what ours should have been had we not been in renovations. All right, come on. So the thing is though, is when you stay in a rescue wagon or a skate pod, you just use baby wipes to wash your dishes. <laughs> Some people do that. <laughs> um, we have our top down on our Jeep because it's so beautiful. And we don't even need to pull out our awning because we have so much coverage. So you'll notice the sites are huge. So you have a big area for your camper, and then you have a whole nother area that has a picnic table, a fire pit, and a grill. They're very nice here. There's a lot of space too, like Kenzie and Sean like to tent camp. So if we come in together, we could go in on a site together and there's so much space for an extra tent. All right, so let's check out the bathrooms. The, <laughs> the bathroom right across from our site is totally being renovated and not even open. So it's going to be super nice. There's but a also, playground. there is a playground. It's a nice one, but instead of wood chips, they should have something done something a little different for accessibility. If you have little kids, it's great if you are in site 38 or 39 because you're directly across from the restroom and from the playground area. So if you've been to state park restrooms, you know they can vary greatly. And some can be really nice and some can be kind of nasty. These are very nice, I can tell already. Now, we can't just go into the bathroom with the camera. We're gonna have to see if there's anyone in there. I might not be able to show you the inside. So they also have these little gray water drains all over. There she is, there's the cottage. So one thing that they have here at Cloudland is disc golf. And so it's got the full 18, plenty of elevation change, and you're definitely gonna wanna play more than one round, so bring some water. The first thing you must do when you camp is have a good breakfast. So let's get at it. Welcome to the outdoor kitchen with Kevin. Today we are going to make uh, lots of good stuff. We're gonna start off this morning on the fancy griddle. We're gonna actually do some uh, breakfast sausage first that we're gonna chop up and brown. Set that off to the side. Then we're gonna do a bunch of bacon. Then we're going to do some peppers and onions and then we're gonna add eggs in.
have a bathing suit on under here. So we came down here and Cody didn't realize that this was probably deep out here and he just flew into the water, just went running thinking that he was going to, I guess, be on like a, like it wasn't deep and he went right on. He's happy. He's happy as can be. Did you have fun? So we actually had to go for the West Rim Trail first before the waterfalls because the stairs going down to the waterfalls is a little hard for dogs. So do note that we're doing the West Rim Trail right now and the overlooks. It's so pretty. If you come up to the main trailhead, there's actually an interpretive center as well. I was hoping for a snack. That was my first thought. I wonder if they have any snacks in there. You only get so many trips around the There are a lot of stairs on the way down to the falls, so just be warned that it's not like easy walking. You're gonna have a lot of stairs to navigate and kind of some rough terrain. Definitely need to be aware of that. But it's really beautiful and really cool looking down here. Check out the side of this rock. while we work. <laughs> so we made it to the first fall. There are children at the top of the but that is very unsafe and causing us a great amount of anxiety. <laughs> We gotta go up a bunch of steps to get back up to the top. Okay, so we're beginning our ascent up the stairs. You know, it's kind of funny. When I was a kid, I used to have to walk up thousands of flights of stairs to school in the snowstorm with bare feet, and then I'd have to do the same thing on the way home. Yeah. It was a rough childhood. At least I'm not barefoot and there's not snow. Day 32. We've made it four flights and we're exhausted. That's a lot of stairs. I think my ticker's gonna about to explode. Huh. I need to sit. Yeah. yeah, I know. Now, we're going to the other falls. Cherokee. What is this? The Cherokee Falls. I'm into the jungle. Obviously, you can tell that there's not nearly as much water in here as there can be. Um, obviously, been pretty dry up here, so it's uh, not a roaring river like it looks like it can be. <laughs> we made it back to the car after 472 stairs and we were, we were really tired. 
All right, so this weekend is coming to a close. We had a great stay at Cloudland Canyon. Uh, the site that we stayed in, definitely give it a five out of five. The cottage is actually our home right now. So uh, truly wherever we go, we're just dragging our home there. So if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that uh, like button and also subscribe to our channel. Also, you can check out other things on our website at www.befreebenson.com. And remember, get out there, have some excitement, do some new things, and as always, 